Thank you, Skip. Uh, you guys have played a lot of good games against the contending teams in the last month. Uh, but and you got to play crisp, obviously, against this team. But tonight, even from the pickoff and the walks, it just was, didn't look like the team we've seen against some of the good clubs. Yeah, like you said, we played some good games against the contenders, and tonight wasn't one of them. Uh, yeah, started from the very kind of the very beginning. Um, you know, obviously, Miggy uh, characteristic kind of got just got caught. I'm not quite sure. Um, wasn't very far off. Just was, you know, I'm not sure on that one. Obviously, that doesn't happen very often. Uh, yeah, and it just really kind of and Dela situation there happened fast and um, yeah, Edouard early on was you know obviously with the deep counts and uh, yeah, I just didn't, never really never got anything going after that. Was that a quick hook on De La Cruz or or you you just can't argue that situation? Craig, I thought it was quick, and that's I kind of went back out at, in between innings because he said he threw his bat, which I understand, but that's kind of more of an equipment violation. And um, yeah, my, my biggest thing was it was like it's I know they're taught to like walk away, and if he I think if he walks away and Dale argues with Manny and Manny tosses if he continues to argue from there and Manny tosses him from first, it feels a little different for me. I just felt like it was a little, I felt like it was a little quick. What did you say to Cabrera after the second inning, or at least the gist of the conversation? You know, it was, it was a little like some of the um, conversations with Trevor last year when he had, you know, a rough outing going. And I knew that we were going to be quick with him in that, even that third. But I just said, hey, this, it's, it started off bad. I said, let's just go out and make pitches. I go, it's like you have your whole life. And so I said, just make pitches out there. And that's it. And I said, you're going you're gonna to be fine. And he's going to be fine. Um, he, he's actually going to be really, really good. And nights like tonight are, <laughs> you know, I hate to say they're good for you, but they are. They, they let you know. And... Uh, so yeah, that's all I said was basically, let's go out and make pitches. And I knew that he had one more inning left and just kind of wanted him to end it good. And the last thing I want to ask you is that the play on um, with Mejia, I, I assume Jazz shouldn't be going to third, but he's trying to make a play. The, the blooper to the left field, nobody was at uh, second. Yeah, yeah, he hits off Eddie. He's going left. Miggy's kind of turned. I think Jazz is reacting to that, trying to get to, to, sec, to, get to third. Looked like Miggy would have got back there. Um, yeah, but that's kind of a reaction play on his part. I think he was trying to basically get the third and cover that base. Um, yeah. Jordan? Hey, Don, you mentioned that with Edward wanting him to go out, throw strikes in that third inning specifically. To see him make the adjustments and bounce back and not let that final inning spiral, just what what does that say about his makeup and his ability to respond, especially after how the first inning went? Well, I don't, I don't know how much that says, but I'm glad he regrouped and went out and basically made pitches and, and had a really good inning. Um, I do think, you know, his – his demeanor is really good, and he's 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 pays attention to what he's doing in between starts. Um, he's just you know having some growing pains, and that's not always you know doesn't feel great at the time, but it has a chance to really help him. So uh, the kid's pretty composed. He didn't seem like he just gets lost. I'm, I'm sure it speeds up a little bit for him out there at times. Um, but he, he's going to be really good. So um, I don't necessarily think it has to say a whole lot just by going out that inning. But you can tell his demeanor and the way he works. He's going to be good. Christina? Johnny, in that first inning, you got the two quick outs. And then it just I it was 30 pitches out there. Just what were you seeing from it? Was it a case of the it speeding up on him? Or is it just something that gets out of whack? Well, I think he, he gets the two quick outs. He walks uh, Choi, right, on a 3-2. I think he gets a deep count on Cruz, and he kind of hits that ball in the hole. Uh, and then I think we walk 
the next guy and it seemed to, to get quick and he had a decent count. He got, got behind, you know, we, we talked about these guys. This, this is a club you got to get ahead of. You got to go out and get, get strike one. If you can, it has to be in a good area, but you got to get strike one and get, get the count in your favor and then go to work. Um, he gets behind a Rosarina. I think uh, 2-0 there gets back in the count and look like he uh, changed up. He left up a little bit and, and he, and he got hurt. He got kind of hurt with his off speed tonight. Uh, we got to get him, you know, make sure. I think that's going to be part of his growth is, is, you know, he's been a, you know, a fairly low percentage with a fastball like he has. It's been a fairly low percentage through the minor leagues. And we just got to make sure he, he gets, stays confident with that because he can spot the ball. And when you can do that, you can, he's got to be confident in using it. Oh, oh, sorry, I was just gonna, yeah, you mentioned the off speed because his slider thing today, he had only given up a hit once to twice today, but then he also got five strikeouts on it. So I guess you kind of see both ends of that spectrum. Yeah, and when I, when I say it, it's just a, it's a matter of keeping the usage and keeping guys honest. And I'm sure these guys are looking, you know, these teams aren't coming into the game blind. You know, they've been watching his starts, they're watching his usage. Um, they get a, they start to get a feel that, you know, what kind of pitcher this guy is. He likes going to his off speed or whatever it is. And it doesn't mean it can't still be effective and he still doesn't use it. It's, it's good. It's good. They're good pitches. Um, but the mix has to be in there um, that keeps them honest, right? And they can't just disregard the fastball. Um, so, and that's, that's what I mean. So his, his, his off speed stuff is good. Um, but we just gotta, we can't let, you can't let teams just disregard the fastball. Okay, now Dan. Yeah, Dan, to, to continue on, on, on Cabrera, what are you seeing from him in terms of, on, or of, in terms of how mature he's been looking out there in order to make those adjustments that you've been mentioning, you know, from an inning to another? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, I think he, I think he's okay, right? It hasn't went great. It does, probably the numbers probably don't look great, um, but again, he's going to be fine. And this is why he's here at this point uh, to make sure he gets this experience, understand what he has to deal with. You know, he comes into spring training next year, and and you hopefully he's he's made some some good adjustments and understands it. You know, going into the next season, so. Uh, I mean, I think he's handling it fine. Um, you know, he's having to swallow swallow some things, some bad pills at this point, uh, different times. Again, if if as you just see in for me, I feel like I feel like I've been around long enough. You see the makeup of guys that it, it's going to bother him, but it's not going to deter him. It's like guys that can hit know they're going to hit. And they may go have some bad stretches, but in their mind, they're going to hit just a matter of time. And I think that's the way Edward feels, that he's going to be good and he's going to be successful, and it's just a matter of time. And, and that's all it is. Bien, bien. Fui preparado 100%. No es que no lo había hecho con los con lo otros, simplemente que me quedé, me quedé enfocado, ya olvidando lo que había pasado eh, en el primer inning. Siempre me mantuve como que positivo. Yo puedo, yo puedo, y, y gracias a Dios salí bien en ese, en ese tercer inning. No, I did feel well. Um, coming out of that inning like that, um, I was I was very um, focused that inning. Not that I wasn't focused on the previous innings, but I was I was really focused on that inning, uh, thinking uh, not thinking of of the previous ones, and and just just wanted to get get outs. 